Hey everybody, Justin Cena here. How's it going? I've got a great video for you today. I'm going to make sure you know every single size when it comes to Facebook ad photos and videos. You're going to become an expert. You're going to know exactly what sizes to use to create the best, highest converting Facebook ads. Let's jump into it right now. Now, before I go over the actual sizes in terms of pixels and dimensions, I want to talk about the kind of uh, overarching idea of why this works so well. Why do Facebook ads work so well? And the same could be applied to Instagram as well. And it's because of the idea of native advertising. Okay, what is native advertising? What are native ads? It's basically advertising placements that fit into the natural flow and use of a site. And really the easiest way to describe it is to tell you what the opposite of native ads are. And a good example of that would be banner ads. Right, a banner ad is literally just a big banner that's stuck you know, on the top or the side of a site. Not native at all, it sticks out. Facebook ads, on the other hand, are totally native ads. They literally are just promoted status updates. And it's the idea of being totally seamless in the news feed. And a lot of people, especially those who aren't marketers like you, or, you and me, right? apart from the word sponsored in the section which typically shows the time and date of the post, Facebook ads look feel and act just like normal posts, right? You could share them, you could like them, you could react to them, you could comment on them. This is why they work so well. Customers respond positively to recommendations and referrals from friends as opposed to commercials or advertisements. And while this is obviously not exactly the same, this is still an advertisement, it feels similar to the customers, to the viewers. And the results obviously speak for themselves. Facebook is by far the most important online advertising platform right now, and that's not gonna change anytime soon. So let's talk about Facebook ad sizes. I'm gonna tell you about both photo and video because they're both super useful. Um, people ask me, you know, which is best? I would say almost all the time, video. If, if you can create a good video, that's gonna be probably preferred over photo. But let's talk about some sizes here. And in fact, I wanna to skip to the bottom first, give you a little pro tip and make sure you take a look at the other videos on my YouTube, especially where I talk about the best Facebook ad objectives. But the idea here is that you're gonna be using these sizes with the conversion objective. Okay, the conversion objective, if you recall, one of my earlier videos on my channel, I talk about the three different parts of an ad. You have the campaign, where you set everything up, you have the ad set, where you do the targeting, and then you have the ad, where you have the actual copy and creative, you know, the words of the ad, the text of the ad, and then the image, that makes up the third part, the ad. This is what we're talking about here with the sizes. For the first part where you set up your ad, you're gonna to wanna to be using the conversion objective. Okay, so let's get into it. And I'll show you some examples as well, just in case you don't believe me, I'll show you a couple billion dollar examples of uh, you know a massive brand that is using the exact sizes that I'm talking about here. So photo sizes, and I kind of rank these um, in terms of most usable. 1200 by 1200 is by far your ideal size. It's a big square. Okay, 1200 by 1200, it will shrink down obviously to any other square size. So it's gonna look good on desktop, it's gonna look good on mobile, it's gonna look good everywhere. And 1200 by 1200 is always, in my opinion, what you should be going for when you're using photos. Now there are a couple of other photo sizes that will work. 1200 by 628, that's kind of like, a, a, obviously it's a wider rectangle. Um, it's much smaller than your 1200 by 1200. You could just literally look at the numbers. It's almost half uh, the height. You have 1200 pixels width by 628 pixels height as opposed to 1200 pixels width and height on that first one. It's just a matter of real estate. You know, do you want to take up more or less of the user's screen? Of course you want to take up more. So we don't go for that square in my opinion. You, you might also, um, if you have a very tall image, if you're shooting like story post photos or story video, you can go by 1080 by 1920. That's your traditional, you know, uh, Snapchat size where it's much taller than wide. On the video, um, same thing here, 1200 by 1200. A couple of reasons why you wanna use that. First of all, it looks good on both mobile and desktop, but you could also use it for product pages. 1200 by 1200 will typically fit a traditional e-commerce product layout, so you could use your video ads for vid product video as well. 1200 by 1200 is your ideal size there, but of course you could use your traditional 1920 by 1080. That's just your full widescreen HD. All right, if you, you take your iPhone, you record it uh, you know, horizontally or you know, whatever phone you have, that's gonna be your full, uh, you know, that, that full HD look. And of course that works as well. Um, but, you know, we're never gonna get 1920 in terms of almost 2000 pixels in width. That's about, you know, uh, almost a, the size of a full monitor. 
full widescreen monitor. We're never gonna get that inside of the news feed. So 1200 pixels in width is gonna look and feel the same as 1920 because it's gonna get reduced down in size. So you wanna take up a little bit more height, you get that 1200 by 1200. Again, this is all about screen real estate. And would you rather have 1200 pixels in height or would you rather have uh, 1080 pixels in height? It's just a matter of bigger numbers. We wanna take up larger size and again, we're never gonna show a 1920 width on the newsfeed, on an ad or anything like that unless they clicked into it. And even so, they still wouldn't see a sizable difference. So um, really the, the important things here are remembering 1200 by 1200. Um, you could experiment with other sizes, but you know these have been tried and true. These are proven. And again, it's not just me who uh, are using these sizes. I'll show you this, uh, if I could find it, this, here we go. This Facebook ad library, or you could search, I, I brought up Nike's ads. And uh, literally, look at this, square, 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 um, you know, I'm, I'm betting they're 1200 by 1200. They're obviously not shown as 1200 by 1200 in your screen, right? Because 1200 by 1200 is just very big. But you see, even when you enlarge it over here, it gets a little bit bigger, it still looks great. 1200 by 1200 would be a safe size to always go with. And uh, if you've never seen the ads library, it's very powerful, come back here and look at some more Nike ads, but you could scroll through here. They're obviously using different sizes for different videos. Here's that story size. Here's your traditional um, full HD video. All of their photos are square, as you see here, right? Literally tons and tons of photos, all square. And uh, Nike, you know, one of the uh, biggest brands out there, if they're doing it, I think you could take their word for it. And you could also take mine. I've been using 1200 by 1200 ads for years at this point, and they're for sure the way to go. So again, my name is Justin Cener. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Most importantly, uh, definitely check out my free mastermind group. I'm in there all day long. It's on Facebook. It's totally free. You see the link over there, group.justinsenior.com. Answering questions all day long, helping people. It's a great community. Lots of people out there sharing stories and just really helping out, being nice. And uh, it's a great place to come if you're trying to grow your online business. Again, totally free. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube as well. I've got tons of free trainings in there. And uh, you know, I really hope this video helps you make some money. Make sure you go and... Uh, Get those ad images and ad videos sized correctly. I know it's gonna put you on the right track. So again, hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, use the comment box below and I'll talk to you real soon.